This is Varadero Reef. From the surface of the water, all you see is this layer of mud and grime. But swim deeper, and all of a sudden, you're presented with a thriving coral reef. Corals usually require clear waters within a narrow range of temperatures to thrive. So how are the Varadero corals doing so well in such highly polluted and rapidly warming waters? My name is Vivian Lee. I'm a PhD student in the Medina lab at Penn State University, and we think part of the reason is the bacteria that live in and around the corals. Corals are made up of an animal host and a myriad of other microorganisms including microalgae, bacteria, viruses, and fungi. And recent studies suggest that bacteria may play important roles in regulating the symbiotic interactions between these different organisms that keep corals alive. Studying the bacteria associated with Varadero corals could provide valuable insight into resilient corals and inform better strategies for coral conservation. Coral reefs are tremendously important ecosystems. They support 25% of all marine life, provide food and shoreline protection, generate economic income, and are a source of pharmaceuticals for medical applications such as cancer therapy. However, coral reefs are in rapid decline due to rising sea surface temperatures and increased human activity. In Florida, coral reefs have already lost 98% of their original coral cover. Federal funding is thus critically needed to scale up and speed up research efforts directed towards protecting our remaining coral reefs before we are left with nothing to save. The story of coral reefs is about more than just the corals themselves. It's also about the human lives they support. It's about how we are all connected, microbes and corals and humans alike.